Welcome to theCUBE's coverage of VMworld 2021. I'm Lisa Martin. Vijay Ramachandran joins me next, VP of Product Management at VMware. Vijay, welcome back to the program. Thank you, Lisa, good to be here again. We're going to be talking about disaster recovery, VMware Cloud DR. We've had a lot of challenges with respect to cybersecurity, the, the world has in the last 18 months. I'd like to get your your thoughts on the disaster recovery as a service, the DRAS market. What are some of the key trends? Anything that you've noticed of particular interest in the last year and a half? Yeah, actually, you're right. I mean, the, the last one year since the pandemic hit, you know, the whole a um, lot of industries want to uh, deploy DR systems and want to protect themselves against ransomware and other uh, other areas. The analysts are projecting that the disaster recovery as a service market is going to reach about $10 billion by 2025. And so we at VMware, we introduced VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery at you know, the last VMworld with an acquisition of a company called Datrium. And since then we've had tremendous success and it was, really, it was largely driven by two key trends that we see in the market. One is that a lot of our customers have regulatory and mandates to do have a DR plan in place. And second is ransomware. I know that, we, that we're going to talk about ransomware a lot more in this interview, but ransomware is top of mind for a lot of customers. So those, these two combined together is really making a huge push to, uh, to protect all the data against uh, disasters. What type of customers and any particular industries that you see that are really uh, keenly adopting VMware Cloud DR and DRAS, anything that you think is interesting? Yeah, it's actually interesting, Lisa. It's actually not a single vertical or a size of a customer. Yeah, what we're, again, what we're finding is that a lot of the regulated industries are, you know, have a mandate to do, the, to, to do DR, but their existing DR and data protection systems are extremely complex and not cost effective. So, you know, customers are asked to do more with less. And so a lot of our customers, a lot of those customers are asking for uh, uh, looking for a cost effective way to protect all the data. And, you know, and ransomware is not something that, that impacts, you know, any single vertical or, a, or any single size of customer, it impacts everyone. So we're seeing, you know, interest from all different verticals, different sizes of customers uh, across, uh, you know, the VMware install base. Yeah, you're right. Ransomware is a universal problem. And as we saw in the last few months, a problem that is really one of national public health and safety and, and security concerns. So you mentioned that customers from a regulatory perspective, those that need to implement DR ransomware, as we talked about, are there, and then you also mentioned that legacy solutions are kind of costly, complex. Talk to me about some of the challenges with respect to those legacy solutions that you're helping customers to address with VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery. So yeah, there are a few trends, trends that are uh, uh, that are emerging in the, in the whole data protection space. One is uh, customers want to do more with the data, and so with legacy systems, uh, what we're finding is that customers are you know are able to replicate the data, and, and but the data is just sitting idle, uh, not being used, and so um, you know and that's ex very expensive for our customers. Number one, and secondly, from an operational standpoint, backup and DR is kind of merging into a single single solution and ransomware protection is becoming a critical use case as we just spoke about, uh, talked about for that. So uh, customers are not, are not looking to deploy different systems for different types of protection. They're looking for a single solution that, that, that lowers the cost and gives them enough protection across all these different use cases. And so where VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery comes into, uh, into play is that, is that we are able to use the data that we protect for other uses, such as uh, you know, such as ransomware recovery, such as data protection, such as disaster recovery. So, a single copy of data that's being put to use for multiple use cases. Number one, and secondly, uh, it's a very expensive uh, 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 proposition to have um, you know on-prem to on-prem. You know, having two you know pre-provisioned capacity just sitting idle. And so, where VCDR comes into play is that we're able to use uh, protect the data into cloud, store it in a cost-effective manner, and then just use the data when it's required, either during failover, during disasters, during ransomware recovery, and so on. And that's where we're able to win in, in, in the market today. Dig through some of those differentiators, if you will, one by one, because there's so much choice out there. There's a lot of backup solutions, some that are providing 
backup only, some that are doing also DR, depending on how customers have deployed and how they're using the technology. But when you're in customer conversations, what are the three things that you articulate about VMware Cloud DR that really help it stand out above the pack? Yeah, number one is the cost, right? Uh, we, are, you know, we are able to bring down the cost of, our, of a disaster protection uh, by sixty five percent, by sixty five percent, and uh, and you know, um, that's one big value proposition that we, uh, you know, that we, um, you know, highlight in our with our solution. Number two, a lot of our customers are also becoming environmentally friendly and you know, environmentally conscious, I should say. And so because we're able to store the data in a more cost-effective manner, in a more efficient manner in the cloud, we're able to bring down the carbon footprint by, by 80% compared to regular, you know, your legacy uh, disaster recovery and data production solution. And the third, you know, sort of major value proposition from, from, uh, from the VMware side is that, you know, we're able to integrate the, uh, uh, VCDR solution, the disaster recovery, and the data production solution so well into our, um, you know, into, into the VMware ecosystem, uh, such that a VMware administrator can easily, operationally easily recover data into a VMware cloud. And so for, for the VMware ecosystem, it just becomes a natural, logical extension of their, uh, of, you know, of their uh, tool set. That's huge. Having a console that you're familiar with, you know, the whole point of, of backing up data and the need to recover from a disaster is to be able to restore the data in a timely fashion. I talk with a lot of customers who were using legacy technologies and that was one of the biggest challenges, backup windows weren't completing or they simply couldn't recover data that was either um, lost in, in, in a ransomware attack or accidentally lost. That recovery is what it's all about, right? That's, ex that's exactly right. And so at this VM we're introducing uh, key enhancements and features that specifically speak to that, uh, you know, to that pain point that you just uh, uh, mentioned. You know, we're uh, we are bringing down uh, the uh, you know the replication time uh, to thirty uh, to thirty minutes. It, so in other words, your your delta is is um, is at a thirty minute interval now compared to ours in a traditional backup system. And number two, um, we are extending. Uh, you know, VM level recovery, re recovery, which we always have with single file recovery. And so, especially for the, for the ransomware uh, use case, customers are quickly able to figure out which file needs to be restored and they're able to restore those files individually rather than restoring the entire VM or the entire data center. And so it becomes a critical uh, use case for uh, a, a critical functionality, I should say, for uh, ransomware uh, recovery. And the other, um, you know, huge announcement that we made, not announce, announcement, but the major announcement that we made uh, uh, at this VMworld is the integration into the VMware cloud in such a way that customers who move or migrating data into the VMware cloud on AWS can uh, have the opportunity to um, uh, protect the data, um, you, know, uh, you know, easily with BCDR and VMware cloud disaster recovery. Got it. I'd love to get an example of a customer that you helped recover from ransomware. As we mentioned, it's on the rise. In fact, I was looking at some cybersecurity data in the last few weeks, and it's the first half of 2021 calendar. It was up nearly 11x, and obviously the the, the hockey stick is looking like it's going to continue to go up and to the right. So, give me an example of a customer that you helped recover after they were hit with ransomware. Yeah, yeah, I, I'll do that. And in fact, before I do that, I'll, I'll give you one, one statistic that I just saw recently. Um, it is um, every 11 seconds, apparently across the world, there's some ransomware attack in, in the world. And so, uh, you know, it is a big, you know, it is a huge, huge top of mind for a lot of, uh, of the CIOs across, you know, you know, across the globe. Now, uh, we, I'll just give you an, an example of one customer that we helped um, you know, protect the data against ransomware. Merrick is the customer name. Uh, it's a public reference. You can, um, you know, it's it's in the VMware website. And they had legacy systems, just like we talked about before. They had legacy systems for protecting the for protecting the data, and they had, you know, backup systems, and they had disaster recovery systems. And the big pain point was that, you know, they knew that they are, you know, they needed to protect against ransomware. And but they had two different systems: backup, disaster recovery, and their cost was high because they were, you know, re replicating the live data or production data, uh, you know, across two different sites. 
And so they were looking for a, uh, to lower the cost of disaster recovery, but more importantly, they were looking to, uh, to, to protect themselves against potential uh, ransomware threats. And, um, and, they, and they were able to deploy you know, VCDR and have those multiple points in time um, you know, in, in, um, in VMware Cloud that, are, that allows them to go to any point uh, you know, uh, after a ransomware attack and, and recover from it. And as I said, the single file recovery was a huge benefit for them because they could then figure out exactly which, you know, which of those files got corrupted or which of the files, uh, you know, required um, recovery. And so um, they were able to lower the cost and protect, uh, and at the same time, uh, you know, meet the regulatory uh, requirements and mandates to have ABR protection in place. So it was a win-win all, you know, all over the place. As you said, there the data show one ransomware attack occurs every 11 seconds. And of course, we only hear about the ones that make the news, right? For the most part, or customers talk about, hey, we've had this problem. So exactly. it is no longer a, if we get hit with ransomware, for every industry, like you were saying before, no industry is, is blind to this. It's mm -hmm. when we get hit, we've got to be able to recover the data. It sounds like what you're talking about from a recovery perspective is that it's, it's very granular. So folks can go in and find exactly what they're looking for. Like they don't have to restore an entire VM. That's they can exactly, go down to the file level. That's exactly right. And, and, and you need that granular recovery because you want to be able to quickly restore, you know, your data uh, and get back on, uh, you know, get back into business. And so uh, we provide that granular, granular recovery at the file level so that you can quickly scan your data, figure out which file Needs to, be, needs to be recovered and recover just those files. Of course, you can also recover, we also provide orchestration for the whole data center, for the whole uh, you know, VM and all the VMs in the data center. But customers, when they hit the ransomware, they want to be able to quickly get back, get back into production for those files that, that, you know, that they critically need. And so that's, um, yeah, that's a, it, it, it's a critical uh, functionality for them. So is this whole entire solution in the cloud or is there anything that the customer needs to have on premise? So this is uh, all the data is stored in the cloud in, in an efficient in an efficient way. Again, uh, you know this is another sort of um, you know the IP that we have, which is it's easy to just store you know data in the cloud in a dumb way. But what we do is we efficiently store the data so that you know you uh, you, you know you can lower the cost of your storage in uh, uh, in the cloud. And so you know VCD, VCDR or VMware Cloud Disaster Recovery stores data in the cloud is a and 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 the data repository is in the cloud and uh, you can either recover data back to where you need to recover or we allow failover we orchestrate automatically failover of uh, workloads into VMware cloud on, on AWS again operational consistent because it's a VMware software that's running on prem VMware software that's running on VMware cloud on AWS and you can um, you know, fail over and bring the data onto VMware Cloud and AWS. So it's a, uh, it's a you know, and it's all delivered through SaaS. So customer, customer doesn't have to, you know, really, you know, manage anything on-prem, if you will. Which must have been a huge advantage in the last year and a half when it was so hard to get to the on-prem locations, right? That's exactly right. And this is one of the clear differentiators, you know, against, uh, you know, with, um, uh, compared to legacy systems, because in in legacy backup and disaster recovery systems, you need to manage your not just your target storage, but also you know the agents and you know all the stuff that uh, 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 all the software that goes along with a, a data protection and a, and, a, and, a, and a disaster recovery solution. And so by and imagine upgrades and patches and so on. And so what we do with this, with a SaaS based approach is take away that burden away from customers. So we deliver this entire service as a SaaS first, as a cloud service first um, uh, delivery mechanism. So customers don't have to worry, don't have to worry about, about, it, about any of those things. And that's critical, especially as we've seen in the last 18 months with yeah. what's been going on, the challenge of getting to locations, but also what's been happening as we talked about in the cybersecurity space and the increase, the massive increase in ransomware. Talk to me a little bit about, I want to dig in before we go, about some of the ways that you've simplified and in, integrated the way to back up VMware Cloud on AWS. Talk to me a little bit more about some of those enhancements specifically. Yeah, so um, a lot of our customers, as, customers as you know, are uh, you know have a dual pronged approach where they have you know some workloads running on prem and they have some workloads running in v, uh, VMware Cloud on AWS. And for VMware Cloud, uh, for VMs that are, that are running on VMware Cloud on AWS, 
um, you know, now they have a choice of, uh, of protect, protecting the data and the VMs very simply uh, using VMA cloud on uh, disaster, uh, VMA cloud disaster recovery. And uh, what that means is that they don't need to uh, have the full band DR solution, but they can simply protect the data and automatically and restore and recover your data if they, you know, in, if there's a corruption or something goes wrong with their, uh, you know, with the VMs, they can simply re restore the data without going through an entire failover process. And so we provide a simplified way for customers to automatically protect data and VMs that, that are running on VMware Cloud on AWS. And that's, uh, and, and it's fully integrated with our VMware Cloud on AWS, you know, workflows and, um, and so that's a great win for anyone who's mi who's migrating data and workloads into VMC. Is the primary objective to th of that to deliver business resiliency, DR, both? Both. Actually, that's 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 a great part about that's that you know that's a great part about this. The solution is that you don't customers don't have to choose between DR and business resiliency. They get both with the, with a single solution. They can start off with just business business resiliency and protecting the data, but if they choose to, they can then uh, you know, add DR as well to that, you know, to those workflows. And so it's not either or, it's both. Excellent, got it. Any other enhancements that you guys are announcing at VMworld this year? Yeah, I just want to reiterate the announcements uh, and the key enhancements that they're making, making uh, you know, that we're announcing at VMworld. Um, the first one, as I said, is, uh, uh, is 30 minute RPO. So, you know, customers that, that have business critical workloads can now pr protect the data and be guaranteed that they're, you know, that the, the, the you know, that the amount of data, data, data that they, um, you know, that, that they, that we lag behind is in, is in the 30 minute range and not in the hours range, like with other legacy backup solutions. That's one. The second is the integration uh, is all the enhancements that are just, you know, that I just talked about for ransom recovery, single file, single file restore. Um, we always had, you know, number of snapshots and, you know, failovers and so on, but single file restore is a key enhancement that we're making for ransomware, ransomware recovery. And the third one is the integration with VMware Cloud on AWS. So it's a fully integrated solution and provides a simple, you know, sort of plug and play solution for any workload that's running in VMC AWS. Those are the three, three key announcements. There's a lot more in, um, in the work. So you'll see that in the coming weeks and months, but these are the three that we're announcing at VMworld. A lot of enhancements to a solution that was launched just about a year ago. Vijay, thank you for sharing with us what's new with VMware Cloud DR, the enhancements, what you're doing, and also how it's enabling customers to recover from that ever pressing and increasing threat of ransomware. We appreciate your thoughts. Thank you, Lisa. Wonderful talk to you. Likewise. For Vijay Ramachandran, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE's coverage of VMworld 2021.